Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Today I got a really cool project to show you. Now, what I did was I made a kind of a replica, more of a tribute, it's not an exact replica to Bradley Knowles' brown guitar, and I'm gonna have down in below links to all the templates that I use, totally free, you can download them. So this should be a pretty cool build. But anyway, let's jump into how we made this thing. So with the kits, this is what you get as the body, and you can kind of pick and choose the kind of body that you want depending upon the style of guitar you're making. Now, you can see here, I already started tracing the lines of Bradley's guitar. Bradley's guitar was a custom, so I'm not going to be able to find a body that is the right shape. So I got one that was pretty close. Now Bradley's guitar also had a Floyd Rose, so I got one that already had the Floyd Rose cut out. It had uh, two dual humbucking pickups and a single coil in the middle. So some of the work here is done, but I'm going to have to go at it and shape this thing down a little bit. You notice here I also traced out the pick guard. He had this kind of strange shaped pick guard. What's really going to be a challenge is Coming out here, you notice there's some really wild routering work and I am not great with a router. So this is gonna be kind of a uh, learning as we go experience. We're gonna try to get that as close as we can. So this is the kind of body you're gonna be getting with one of those kits. And then let me show you what's in the box down here. It's got everything else. And when I said everything else, I really do mean everything else. If you wanna build a guitar, everything is in these kits except for really the paint, if you wanna just build one and not make any tweaks to it. So here's the neck. The shape of the neck isn't quite right up here. We're gonna be doing some cutting. We're gonna get it close. It's not gonna be perfect. And then in here is all of the other hardware. It comes with all your pickups. Some of these even come kind of pre-wired and strung. And this even has the Floyd Rose buried in there somewhere. It's a, not a true Floyd Rose, it's a cotton but this is the Floyd Rose that we're gonna be using on this guitar. These actually do work really well for what they are. So if you wanna build a guitar and just build one, these kits come with everything you need, but we're gonna be playing some games, cutting some stuff up in here. So let's get started on cutting up that body first, then we'll move into the neck, pick guard, electronics, and get this whole thing put together. Now you're gonna see a lot of power tools in this video and you don't need to have all this special stuff. You can do pretty much everything I'm doing with hand tools, hand sanders, sanding blocks, and stuff like that. The only tool you're probably going to need is a router. We're gonna show it here in just a second, but I'm gonna show you why you need a router in a little bit. Now, if you've seen pictures of Dan McDonald's guitar, the one that he made for Bradley, it's got a really wild router work thing coming out of the trem, the floating trem pocket. And that's a picture of it right there. Now, what I did was I snagged some pictures of it. I blew it up to full size, printed them out, taped them to the guitar as a template so I could do the router work. Now, I have these pictures available down below if you want to download them. Totally free. You can take them, print them out so you can make your own Dan McDonald Bradley Knoll guitar. Um, this is the part where you are gonna need a router. There's really no other way to do this that I know of than using a router. If you don't have a router, borrow one. And if you're not good with a router, see if you can get a friend to do it for you because this is a little bit tricky. I really should have done the router work before I did anything else in case I screwed up the body. I wouldn't have invested all that other time in it, but check it out. Now Dan used a fender neck on his guitar. This is not a fender neck, it's not even the same scale and I didn't wanna go through all that. So we cut the neck into a similar shape. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. It's got the theme going of that fender neck. Now on top of the router work, there's also some kind of strange tool marks that he did in there. And this was the closest bit I could find that could get me there. Now, getting all those tool marks in, there really wasn't an easy way to template it. So I just kind of freehanded it. You can see my computer's over there and I'm just doing my best to get it as close as I can. Now something you are gonna run into if you use the kit that I used is the kit that I used is sealed. So you are gonna have to sand the whole thing down before you can apply any sort of a stain. And we used a Bombay Mon Mahogany Poly Shades from Minwax. This was the first thing we put on there and then we followed it up later on, you'll see in a little bit, with a clear polyurethane. 
The pick guard he used was also a handmade custom pick guard, so we made one ourselves. Now after I made this thing, I actually threw it on my scanner and I have a full size scan of it. So same thing as before with the other stuff, I have a template down below free for you to download. You can just print it out and that should get you exactly where you need to be if you're using the same kit. If not, you can use it as a jumping off point. Now, one thing I should have done earlier was I needed to route her out of pocket underneath the pick guard so I could get my electronics through. I didn't do that before I stained it. Really, I should have, so I just had to be real careful not to uh, mess up the top of the guitar. But we routed that out, and this you can see here is pretty much what the finished product of the body is gonna look like. I love wipe on polyurethane. It's easier to apply, I think, than a spray on clear. I put four or five coats on either side and it came out looking awesome. On the original guitar, Dan had his little insignia up there and I'm not going to copy somebody else's signature insignia, so I wanted to try this out. I've never done this before, but it's a way to take an image, print it out, and transfer it onto a piece of wood using water-based polyurethane. So I brushed on some water-based polyurethane, I printed out, you saw that little picture of Ludog, and we're going to put it right there on the neck. You can see, I, you tap it down, you don't wanna get it totally saturated with the polyurethane, you just want the thing laying on it so it's in it, but not kind of soaking through and coming up over the top. After letting it completely dry, and you wanna make sure it is completely dry, I screwed it up once by not letting it completely dry, you come in with a toothbrush and you get it wet, the water will start soaking through the paper and you can actually brush the paper away and it'll leave you with the image ghosted onto the wood. Now I'm not going to bore you with all the details on how to set up a guitar. I've got another video for that link down below. So if you're working on this project and you're getting into that final setup, you probably want to watch that video. These do come with pretty good instructions as well as far as the wiring goes if you order the kit that I used. I do have links down below for the kit that I used, the pick guard material, and any other parts that I needed. Full disclosure, they are affiliate links and I do get a kickback from those links. However, what I'm going to be doing with any money that I get from this stuff, so any of these guitar kits or these parts, every couple of months I'm going to be going through figuring out how much we got from those and I'm going to be donating it to the Knoll Family Foundation. Um, if you haven't heard of the Knoll Family Foundation, you may have heard of Bradley House. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you know we lost Bradley Knoll to addiction, sadly, and uh, something near and dear to my heart, I've lost friends to addiction as well. The Bradley House is a sober living house, a six bed sober living house to help musicians uh, that are struggling with opiate addiction. So we want to help them out. So I'm going to be donating any money that I get from this video to them. And I also have a link to them down below. If you want to check them out, I'm sure they would love your support. Now, if you do run into questions when you're assembling this guitar, throw them down in the description below. I've built a bunch of guitars and I would be happy to help you out. I'm always checking my comments. Now this guitar came out beautiful and it plays really, really well. Um, I've been loving this thing, but like I said at the beginning of the video, this guitar is not for me. It's from my friend Eddie. He's one of my oldest friends, longest friends, and keeping this from him was really tough. He's a humongous Sublime fan. So without further ado, let's hook Eddie up with his brand new birthday gift. That is so sweet. You got the... All right, ED. What the heck is this? You gotta open that up. Guys, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what on earth is this, Bert? <laughs> what on earth is this? Is it recording? Yeah. What the heck? What? Wait a minute, Bert. How? I made it. 
Holy crap! <laughs> no way! How did you get this? Like, remember, all, remember all those pictures I was bugging you for? Yeah. That's so I could get patterns. And it has like the the routed out yep. bits. Floyd Rose. Does it have two knobs? Two, yeah, volume and tone. And it had the two humbuckers yep. single coil. And it's actually got another tone knob hidden inside it because he only had one tone knob. So I hid the other one inside it if you want to do the tone on the. Uh, on the neck pickup, that tone setup for the bridge pickup. Right here, right? Yeah. So okay. the other tone knob's hidden inside if you wanna, if you ever want to get in there. Is it in, like, inside it's, there? It's inside that, yeah. Wow, and like the headstock <laughs> is pretty much similar? Yeah. And there's a lewd, a lewd dog? <laughs> yeah. No way, Bert. Like a Bradley replica. Sublime, Bert, sublime? <laughs> Oh, hold on, I brought my amp. Pretty sick, huh? Hey. 